Am I the asshole? For saying to my parents that I won't give up my career and look after my brother once they've gone? Last week my parents phoned me asking me to come down the Friday just gone as they want to talk to me about something important and they'd prefer to do it face to face. I agreed and came down Friday and we talked. My parents said that they've been delaying doing their wills for so long and decided it's finally time to get their affairs in order. I have a brother who's older than me, but he's autistic and I don't know if nonverbal is the right word as he can only say a few words like mom and dad and although he's 26 it's more like he's a 10 year old if that makes sense. My parents told me they've got some sort of plan to go into the will and they've said their plan is if one of them were to die first then my brother will live with the lone parent part time and a care home assisted facility part time to give the lone parent a break. Then if the lone parent dies the plan is for my brother to come and live with me and they will set some sort of trust up so that each month whatever he is inherits goes into living costs for example if he inherited $100,000 not the actual amount a trust would have been set up and $1,000 comes out each month to cover his living costs. Why I said my brother has the mind of a 10 year old is because he can't do anything without the help of our parents like getting him dressed cleaned and ready and helping him with tasks and activities. My family members take it turns at the weekend to have him so my parents can have a break to relax and recuperate. I know it's wrong of me and I shouldn't be but I'm not an emotional person and I'm not sympathetic as well. I said to my parents that I'm not giving up my career to look after him and when they both die I won't be taking him in. My brother and S sibling relationship is non-existent and I also don't feel equipped to look after him I am an honest person and will say that to me he would feel like a massive burden. I voiced my reasoning to my parents and I thought they would be more understanding I basically feel he's better off in a place where people can actually help him and know what they're doing. I'm just not prepared to give up my career or anything for him. I also stated to my parents I'm more than happy to give up my half of the inheritance so the money can go on making sure he's looked after like setting up a trust fund so if they died and he went into assisted living facility his bills are paid and there's an allowance for him each month. My parents are completely upset with me and are disappointed in me for this. I feel justified but now I'm wondering if I've been a total bitch and an asshole when it's come to this. Not the asshole, I know it's family, but that's their kid they decided to have. You were honest and upfront and let them know this was not something you wanted to be in charge of, I do not blame you at all. Not the asshole it's my understanding that people on spectrum, are not good with multiple changes in their life. If he will be PT in a facility when there is only one parent left, why not prepare for him to move into FT after the second parent passes? Not the asshole. They need to make arrangements for him to be in an assisted living facility when they are both gone. Assure him that you will make sure he's safe and cared for but it won't be by you. Not the asshole. You're not abandoning him to die on the street, and it's unreasonable for your parents to demand that you give up your life for him. They want you to take over their job, but parenthood is a choice that they made, not you. Not the asshole but frankly you should be prepared to inherit nothing as the care he needs is not cheap and they gave to ensure he's suitably cared for. Not the asshole. My youngest has Down syndrome. I hope her sister will always want to be a part of her life, but I do not expect her to be the primary caregiver when both me and my husband died. I have never read a more profound not the asshole. Not the asshole not the asshole not the asshole. Not the asshole don't give up your life for your brother. That's pretty wise of you. If the money would run out before you both were retirement age, then you'd both be screwed anyway. Not the asshole. Your parents chose to have children and this one is their responsibility. It's so easy to have kids when everyone else is doing all the work for them. Not the asshole. Your brother is not your responsibility. Your parents can make other arrangements. They wouldn't have been out of line for asking, but assuming you would is not great. Not the asshole. That's not a fair thing for them to ask. Not the asshole, 
you have a right to live your life without responsibilities that you didn't sign up for. You were born, you aren't your brother's keeper. Not the asshole, at all. Why should you give up your life and career to care for him? Your parents need to have a better plan in place. Not the asshole for being honest. Now they know, they can make alternative plans. For your brother's ongoing care. Not the asshole you sound clear-headed and he should be somewhere he can be cared for long term. You do not have to take up that burden. Not the asshole. Parent in the same position. I have zero expectation that other siblings will provide care. It's on me and my partner to get everything sorted. Not the asshole. You deserve to have a full life, one that you choose. Not one that's chosen for you. Not the asshole. Being a caregiver isn't for everyone. Better you are honest about that now than figuring it out the hard way. Not the asshole disabled children are not meant to be a burden on their siblings. Not the asshole. It is so very wrong of your parents to have these expectations of you. Stand your ground. Not the asshole. Not at all. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. It's better for him to live in a group home that can cater to his needs. You should have the responsibility only to make sure he isn't neglected or abused. Having him live with you won't be healthy for him or you. Not the asshole. Your brother is not your child nor he is your responsibility. Your parents need to work with social service to put together a plan for him now when they are unable to care for him. $1,000 per month I know you said it is hypothetical is not enough to cover basic necessities for two people. Even if it were, you would be forced to give up your hopes and dreams to be a full-time caregiver. Not the asshole. Now you need to live your own life. Simple. Your parents love you and your brother. They're scared for his future. That's a hard path for a parent and they are understandably worried. That's not your burden though. He needs to be on disability now so the care will be covered. Not the asshole he's not your child nor your responsibility they should be looking into a facility for him once they both pass. They shouldn't expect you to lower your quality of life. Currently they are taking care of him together and need time off to prevent getting overwhelmed, how do they expect you to take care of him by yourself? Not the asshole and you are 100 correct in your reasoning. You are not trained to deal with his needs and you would have no life of your own. Not the asshole it's not your job to look after your brother. It would be unfair if you had to stop doing what you love just to look after him. Your parents should look into other options. 100 Not the asshole. Your parents should never even think to put that massive burden on you. He would be much happier and taken care of in a more suitable environment. Shame on them for expecting that of you. Not the asshole it was unreasonable of them to even assume that you would be want to or equipped to handle that. Not the asshole. He's not your responsibility. You are willing to give up your inheritance so he can have a good life after your parents die. That's more than they can expect from you. They now have the time to search a good place for him.